Hello, thank you for joining me today. We're reading through A Course in Miracles, The Daily Lessons, and today we're on a focus lesson, What is the Real World? What is the real world? The real world is a symbol, like the rest of what perception offers. Yet it stands for what is opposite to what you made. Your world is seen through eyes of fear and brings the witness of terror to your mind. The real world cannot be perceived except through eyes forgiveness blesses. So they see a world where terror is impossible and witness to fear cannot be found. The real world holds a counterpart for each unhappy thought reflected in your world. A sure correction for the sights of fear and sounds of battle which your world contains. The real world shows a world seen differently through quiet eyes and with a mind at peace. Nothing but rest is there. There are no cries of pain and sorrow heard, for nothing there remains outside forgiveness. And the sights are gentle. Only happy sights and sounds can reach the mind that has forgiven itself. What need has such a mind for thoughts of death, attack, and murder? What can it perceive surrounding it but safety, love, and joy? Where is there where is there it would choose to be condemned? And what is there that it would judge against? The world it sees arises from a mind at peace within itself. No danger lurks in anything it sees, for it's kind, and only kindness does it look upon. The real world is the symbol that the dream of sin and guilt is over and God's son no longer sleeps. His waking eyes perceive the sure reflection of his father's love, the certain promise that he is redeemed. The real world signifies the end of time, for perception makes time purposeless. The Holy Spirit has no need of time when it has served his purpose. Now he waits, but one instant more for God to take his final step, and time has disappeared, taking perception with it as it goes, leaving but the true to be itself. That instant is our goal, for it contains the memory of God, and as we look upon a world forgiven, it is he who calls upon us and comes to take us home, reminding us of our identity, which our forgiveness has restored to us. This is a great lesson because it's really talking about the, the difference here between what the real world is and the world that we think we see. And so I hope you have a good day with this. If you need additional support, you can reach out to me, 907-351-3003, or you can text me at that number or call me. Uh, texting is better. And then uh, you can message me through Facebook or SoundCloud or um, YouTube. And my websites, Linda Lamp and Linda Lamp .shop, Linda Lamp .com and Linda Lamp .shop. And then the next lesson in this, the first lesson in this focus uh, section will be, will follow today. Thank you again. Much love and namaste.